everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be, uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a flight plan with the new Infinite Flight update. Uh, some people can find it difficult just with all the new SIDS and star stuff, but uh, this is going to make it hopefully sim more simplified for you guys. Um, so, we are sitting here on the ramp in San Francisco. Uh, let me just start up the plane just to make this kind of realistic. Do all these real quick. Okay. So, let's go into here. Yes, I'm in solo mode, but it doesn't really matter. Um, so, uh, first you're going to want to obviously choose your departure runway. So, for me, I'm going to want like 28 right, probably. So, we're going to go KSFO, just like when you select your ILS, right? You can click on that. You're going to go to PROC. Actually, guys, let me turn on... Uh, where are they at? Uh, show touches, just that way it makes it easier for you guys. So, wait. So KSFO, right? And then you're going to go to PROC. You want to select or select select departure. Now you're going to see all these different weird lines. I know this can be confusing, but if you think about it, it's not. So you're going to want to find over here. You can just click on it, and it'll show you the route that it takes. So it looks like this route doesn't really go off a of two eight right, does it? Those come off a of ten right and ten. It'll say right here. 10, it'll say 10 left, 10 right, all that stuff right there. So, you don't want that one because that one will take you out, you know, that way and stuff. Um, so, you can just keep selecting downwards until you find, like this one, for example, could work, but we're, we're heading down to Los Angeles today, for example. That's what we'll do. But this really doesn't take us anywhere near Los Angeles, does it? So, we're not going to choose that one. Um, here's one from 28B. 28B means, or B, if it says B, that means both. So both runways, 28 right and 28 left. Same with this one. This one really doesn't take us down to Los Angeles. Let's not do that one. That one takes us north. That one takes us east. Now, this one does take us south, doesn't it? This is a really odd um, departure. This is more of a, like an airway, I feel like. Uh, but this takes us south of Los Angeles if we want. We don't really want that, but... Let's just let's not take that one. Let's try to find a different one. We'll come back to that one if we need to. So you can just keep selecting through until you find the one you want. No. Ooh, perfect. There we go. That's perfect right there. So because this one has a bunch of routes to the south, you're like, oh, perfect. That's what I need, right? So you're going to select that one because my destination airport down south here. So you just got to kind of want the ones that point in your direction. Uh... And now, transitions are these end waypoints. So, N Intel, Lotion, eBay, Cisco, and Young. So, I kind of like to take the coastal route. So, let's go transition Young. So, it's going to bring us all around this. So, that's where that's what route we're going to take here off of this. This is the West La Four departure. So, we're going to select. Transition, also runway 28B because that's what the runway we're taking off. Then you click Add to Flight Plan. So, boom. Now your flight plan has been created directly from KSFO and out down to this. So now what you can do is you can either add waypoints in between in your flight just like normal or you can just go right into your arrival if you just want to go direct, direct which is what I'm going to do. So we're going to go KLAX, we're going to go PROC. Now we're going to select arrival. Don't click select approach yet. Just select select, select arrival. Now... Um, if you're kind of looking around here, you got this, see this Derby 1? That's what I'm going to look for because you can kind of see it comes in from the north. Now you're looking for it to come in from the north to head south. So we're going to click Derby 1. Oh, look at that. Perfect. That kind of swings us around to the south. That looks nice, doesn't it? And again, you could select whichever one you want, whichever one looks similar. So I lo that looks good to me. So we're going to select that. Now transition. I'm going to do tilt because look, young is right there and tilt's right there, very close to each other. So we're going to click Tilt, Add to Flight Plan, boom, you're connected. So look at that. Now your flight plan is almost created. It brings you south of the airport and VNAV. You'll know VNAV will work when you see these at 12,000 feet, 14,000 feet, flight level 190, all that stuff. So now you know VNAV will work too. Now after that's done, you can select, oh, select Approach. Now I want 25 right for my approach. So all these will kind of tell you the runway in them. So like this one here, that one looks good, doesn't it? H25, so that means 25, so both 25 runways. LZ, 
so let's select that one because look it kind of has all these routes and boom it connects right there now our transition wants to be trindo that takes us right from our arrival which is perfect trindo add to flight plan and look at that you have successfully created a flight plan now vnav will work too and all you have to do is once you take off select lnav and boom 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 you are all good to go so guys, uh, I hope this makes sense, and if you need any other tutorials of 20.1, let me know, or if you want me to explain that more in depth, I can gladly do so. So, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.